honorable chief guest guest of honor deans directors faculty members assalamu alaikum and good morning welcome you all in international nurses day we will start our proceeding with the name of allah the most beneficent and merciful i invite mr ikhtiarullah student of second semester ins to recite few verses of holy quran e pak mr ikhtiarullah a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim aqim You are all requested to please stand up in respect of national anthem. International Nurses Day is celebrated around the world on 12th May, the anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth. Today, we are all here to celebrate the International Nurses Day. Happy International Nurses Day. The International Council of Nurses is a federation of more than 130 national nurses associations representing 28 million nurses worldwide. ICN President Dr. Pamela, our nurses, our future. ICN wants for a nursing in the future 
in order to address the global health challenges and improve global health for all. We need to learn from the lessons of the pandemic and translate these into actions for the future that ensure nurses are protected, respected and valued. It is now time to look to the future and demonstrate what these investments will mean nursing and healthcare. Our nurses, our future. This slogan will shine the light on nurses and on a brighter future, moving nurses from invisible to invaluable in the eyes of policy makers, the public, and all those who make decisions, affecting the delivery and financing of healthcare. Looking forward to celebrating nurses and working together to chart the future of direction of nursing in order to meet the needs of the new, normal, as well as the sustainable development goals, universal health coverage and health for all. Now I call upon the stage Ms. Ghani, Ms. Nasreen Ghani, Professor Coordinator of Institute of Nursing Sciences, Sarhad University for welcome address. In your big class, please welcome Ms. Nasreen Ghani. Honorable Chief Guest, Deans, Director, Invited Guest, Faculty Member, and Dear Student, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome you all in the celebration of the International Nurses Day. Institute of Nursing Sciences established in the 2021 with the aim to promote nursing profession and the advanced concept to enable students to achieve the professional excellence and to manner to prepare competent, safe, committed, and knowledgeable nurses integrate evidence-based science into the clinical practice and initiate a leadership role act as a change agent and to provide holistic care to the individual, families, community, at a national and international level. Our nurses, our future. Ladies and gentlemen, International Nurses Day held on the anniversary of the birth of the one of the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale. And it is an opportunity for the nurses around the world to celebrate their profession for their contribution and sacrifice to be both acknowledged and respected. This is especially pertinent today as the world struggled with the third year of the pandemic and so many nurses are working in the area of conflict including Ukraine, Yemen, Myanmar, Ethiopia, Afghanistan and elsewhere. We cannot forget the nurses working in the many challenging conflict areas around the world, caring for the injured, ill, and dying. Salute to all those nurses. <laughs> Protected investing in the nursing profession to rebuild the healthcare system that can deliver the sustainable development goal, the universal health coverage, to improve the global health. Recognize and value the health and care as an investment, not as a cost. Secure commitment for the investment to maintain equitable and people-centered care. Let me end with this note. Together, our future depends on every nurse, every wise, to not only on the front line of a care, but also be on the front line of a change. I'm extremely grateful to all of you to be here to celebrate the Nursing International Day. Happy International Nursing Day. Welcome you all again in the hall to celebrate the International Nurses Day. If we want to change the health indicator, we must invest our nurses and midwives. Thank you and welcome once again. Lamp lighting is a tradition followed by all nursing graduates to remind them on the noble traditions of their profession. This tradition commemorates the heroine of nursing,
Florence Nightingale, who was seen in the dark alleys with a lamp while caring for the injured soldiers of the Sriman War. The lamp symbolizes the light that a nurse becomes to be patient and as a symbol of hope and comfort to those who are suffering. Graduates light this lamp as a commitment and they recite the nursing pledge of service. I invite the director of nursing to let the candles of knowledge, skills and commitment. <laughs> we are all familiar with the beginnings. They can be small steps, but its impact can be experienced in giant leaps. Today's students of this institution of nursing are making a new beginning through the lightning of candles. It is a symbolic act of light that shines within your hearts. Now I invite Mr. Amir Rahman, Assistant Professor INS, Sarhad University, to take oath from students. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In full knowledge of the obligation, I am undertaking. I promise to care for the sick. With all the skill, With all the skill. And, understanding I possess. and understanding I possess, without regard to race, without regard to race. Creed. Creed. Color. color, politics or social status, or social status. Sparing, no efforts to conserve life. sparing no efforts to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, to alleviate suffering. and to promote health. I will respect all the times, I will respect all the, times the dignity and religious beliefs, the and religious beliefs of, the patient under my care, of the patient under my care, holding in confidence, holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me, and refraining from any action which might endanger life. Or health. or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge, I will to keep my professional knowledge and, skill and skill at the highest level, at the highest level to, give loyal support to give loyal support and cooperation, and cooperation to, all members of the health team. to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost, I will do my utmost to honor the International Code of Nursing Ethics and to uphold the integrity of the professional nurses. Allahumma inna nastainuka. So help me God. History defines events from the past leading up to the present time. However, it focuses on just the chronological of events, but also the impact and influence those events continued to have throughout time. Over the passage of time, the events unfold and trend emerge. These historical trends in turn influence or shape the destiny of individual or group. The history helps us better to understand the social forces and issues that continue to confront the profession. Understanding the history of nursing also allows nurses to gain an appreciation of the role of the profession as played in the healthcare system. I request Mr. Irfan, Professor Assistant of INS Suit, to represent the nursing. Please welcome Sir Irfan. Honorable Chief Guest, Deans, Directors, faculty members, colleagues, and dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. It is an honor for me to represent the historical perspective of nursing before and after partition of Pakistan. So, nursing is an ancient of human civilization. Women have nursed the sick and wounded in and out of their homes for earliest times. Nursing in Islam started from the beginning of religion. The ideology of nursing is based on the concept of serve to the mankind. 
حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پرمٹ حضرت رفائد علیہ السلام ہو تو ٹیک کیر آف دا وونڈڈ پیشنٹس دا وونڈڈ سولجرز ڈیورنگ دا وارڈس اسلامک ہسٹری ہیز این انسپائرنگ ہسٹری آف اسما بنت امیس ہو از دا نرس اینڈ کیئر فار دا وونڈڈ ان دا بیٹل آف اہد اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ہسٹری آف کرسچینٹی دا ہسٹری آف کرسچینٹی ہیز اسٹارٹڈ فرام دا ننس وی آر دے ٹریٹ the wounded people, the wounded uh, neighbors or the wounded persons in the church. So history comes from the Muslims as well as from the Christians. Many large hospitals were built between the 10th and 13th century in Egypt and Baghdad. The dark period The dark period was started in 16th century where the image of the nursing profession was negatively influenced. It was because the Catholic monasteries were attacked in the Protestant countries. In this, this era is called the dark period. The period lasted in 19th century. So the modern nursing started from the era of Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale was born on 12 May 1820. She led the foundation of the modern nursing. She prepared, she provided care to the wounded British soldiers of the Saramen War in 1854 and 1856. She focused on maintenance of clean water, clean environment, proper medication, morbidity, good nutrition and proper light. These things were based on her theory and still these theories are followed in the nursing profession. She was also called the lady with the lamp. She took the lamp and make rounds in the ward and take care of the soldiers. So because of that she was known as the lady with the lamp. She also established a nursing school that was the first nursing school in the history and the name of the school was Florence Nightingale School of Nursing which was established in 1860. That school was also associated with the S.R. Thomas Hospital. History of nursing before partition of Pakistan and Indian subcontinent. Even through the history of nursing in Indo Pak exists long ago in the ancient times. During that time, admission to the nurses were extremely reserved for the Hindu, Indian and European girls because they think that Muslims wear hijab and they perceive that Hindu are true. That's why they were not permitted in the nursing. So in 1860, first midwifery school initiated by the government of Hindu subcontinent. In 1884, first nursing school in West India opened in the Mew Hospital Lahore, Mission Hospital and Mission Healthcare System, which was linked with the history of Christianity, also came into being in 1885. From where, from that time, the, the Christians and the Muslims were enrolled in the nursing. Before partition, military hospital was established. So the first military hospital was established in 1664 military hospital was established in that time where the wounded soldiers were provided care. In 1888, 10 qualified nurses were hired from London to provide care to the wounded soldiers. In that time, they needed the need of male attendants and from that time, that 10 nurses used to train that attendants. There were two months training for that male attendance. In 1914, nurses was recruited by Queen Alexander Military Nursing Services for India. In 1927, nursing receives permanent status in the military nursing services. During the Second World War, the military has independent nursing services. In 1905, Trained Nursing Association of India was established. Trained Nursing Association of India worked very hard and at that time they published their first nursing 
journal. Trained Nursing Association also developed the Central Nursing Council for Pakistan in India. Before partition, Indian nursing courses overview the nursing services in Pakistan as, as well as they were looking for the, the consuls of India. In 1947, when Pakistan came into being and the rule of British was ended, the majority of non-Muslim nurses migrated to India and some of the British nurses moved to England. At that time, that was a disastrous situation for Pakistan in the field of nursing and medical. Muhtarama Fatma Jinnah and uh, Begum Rana Laikat Ali Khan with some other prominent women come in the field. They also picked some female students of metric or of middle uh, education and started two uh, nursing uh, courses. The first course was lady assistant course where the nurses was trained for two weeks and the other course was auxiliary nursing scheme where the nurses, the students were trained for two months. After partition of Pakistan, the efforts of Muhtarama Fatma Jina and Rana Nekalika Tali Khan are unforgettable. In 1949, the first act of Pakistan Nursing Council was passed, which was revised in 1952 and then revised in 1973. Now in 1920, the act was again revised. Let's come towards the evaluation of organization structure. In 1984, Punjab Nursing Board, Khaybar Pukhtun Khan Nursing Board, that was at that time it was now West Frontier Province, and Sin Nursing Boards were established. The first nursing school of Pakistani history was Sir Ganga Ram Hospital Lahore. Miss Mumtaz Penda Khan was the first nursing superintendent of that school. Ms. Dara was the first nursing tutor. And the first batch of seven qualified nurses were passed in 1952. The second school of nursing was Jinnah Postgraduate Medical Center. After that time, several nursing schools provided post-diploma education, in which the most famous one was Little Reading Hospital Bishawar, College of Nursing Lahore, Post Graduate Medical Center, Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences, and College of Nursing and WFP. After that, degree and PhD in nursing was started. Aga Khan was the first university to offer degree program of nursing in BSc and post -tarin. After that, in 2001, they started MSN, and in 2018, they started PhD. Khaybar Bukhtun Khan also played a main role in the nursing history. So, Lady Reading Hospital Peshawar was started in uh, started nursing in 1927. Khaybar Teaching Hospital started nursing in 1977. That was a diploma program. Khaybar Medical University was the first university of Khaybar Bukhtun Khan to start degree program in nursing. Madam Nasreen Ghani, she was the first director of Khaybar Medical University to start. <laughs> nursing, pro nursing degree program in uh, Khaybar Medical University. Also, with her efforts, Khaybar Medical University started master in nursing and PhD in nursing. Now, Sarad University is the second university to start nursing degree program in Khaybar Pukhtun Khan. <laughs> there are dozens of nursing colleges which was affiliated with Khaybar Medical University, but Sarad University is the second university to offer nursing program. We have three beds. We have 117 students in first year, and we have two beds in the second year. They have 126 students. The role of uh, Madam Nasreen Ghani and Shain Ghani is unforgettable because they laid the foundation of nursing in Sarhad University. So, 
So these are some of the leaders of nursing due to which we are sitting here. That's all. Thank you very much. Competition is a significant part of our lives. In reality, a competitive spirit motivates us to work harder. Competition is good for the human spirit to innovate and seek to achieve new heights. Healthy competition teaches preparation. Now I invite Ms. Nasrin Ghani to set out rules for the speech competition. Thank you, Nadim. The rules of this speech for the time duration is three minutes. And we have a criteria uh, to which like we see the countries in eye contact or pronunciation to evaluate the student. I request the judges, Ms. Shahida, the convener of the judges, the director of the College of Nursing, Hyderabad Medical Complex, Ms. Afroz, the director of Northwest School of Nursing, and Ms. Rohsana, the senior lecturer of uh, Hyper Teaching College of Nursing. Uh, the criteria and all this mentioned in your file before you. So please we start the competition, speech competition. The first contestant for the speech competition is Maboul Ahmad from third semester. Please welcome Maboul Ahmad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Honorable Vice Chancellor Sarhad University, Honorable Directors and Coordinators, Distinguished Guests, Respected Teachers, and my dear colleagues, Assalamu Alaikum. Today, I am here to shed light on a group of individuals who possess remarkable ability to heal, comfort, and save lives. Actually, they are the beating hearts of our healthcare system, the unsung heroes who work tirelessly day and night, often going unnoticed and unappreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about our nurses, the backbone of our medical community. In the world where advancement in technology and medical breakthroughs are celebrated, it is crucial that we remember the invaluable role played by our nurses. Dear audience, the nurses are not just caregivers. They are compassionate educators, skilled professionals, and essential contributors to the well-being of our society. They always stand at the front, often acting as a first point of contact for patients and their families. They have wealth of knowledge. They have skills that enable them to assess, diagnose, and treat multitude of ailment. My dear colleagues, the COVID-19 pandemic has undoubtedly highlighted the immense value of our nurses. And we need to learn from the lesson of this pandemic and translate these into actions for the future that ensure that the nurses are protected, respected, and valued. My dear fellows, as we look to the future, the nurses are the true architect of a healthier future. As you know, the demand for healthcare services is increasing, and our nurses are the ones who will lead us through these challenging time and future, inshallah, because they are our future. And the theme for this year is also our nurses, our future. And this theme set out what the ICN want for nursing in the future in order to address global health challenges and improve global health for all. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to acknowledge their invaluable contributions and celebrate their achievements. But it is not enough. It is not enough to merely acknowledge the significance of our nurses. We must take concrete steps to support and empower them. We must work together to invest in this field for their professional development, provide them with safe working conditions, and we must ensure that they receive fair compensation for their invaluable services. 
and we must also ensure that they have the resources and support they need to continue their noble mission. For this purpose, the ICN celebrates International Nurses Day every year on 12th of May. So happy Nurses Day to all of you and let us never forget, never forget that our nurses are indeed our future. Thank you so much. Well done, Magbul Ahmad. The second contestant is Ismail Shah from third semester. <laughs> Nurses are scrub wearing, smile bringing, life saving rock stars that loves to heal and loves to encourage. Honorable chief guests, respected directors, coordinators, other dignitaries seated on dice, my dear faculty members, and dear colleagues, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. The International Council of Nursing is focusing on a brighter future of nurses and how the profession can improve the overall health will be at the centers of this year's International Nurses Day. Ladies and gentlemen, nurses play an essential role by being advocates for health promotion, educating the public and patient on preventing injury and illness participating in rehabilitation, providing care and support. Florence, courageous determination and passion are the characteristics that many midwives and nurses identify with, especially with the demands faced due to COVID-19 and some other medical issues seen in the community. Nurses are trained professional and have completed nursing co courses from the respected institutions. They are trained to provide care to patients, helping them to recover from illness, manage symptoms, and improve the overall health. They offer comfort, reassurance to the patients and their families during the time of uncertainty and distress. I know many of the people have the fear of an injection, but have you ever remembered that if all of us will do in the same way, then who will then who will treat us, who will give us medicines, and who will take care of our wounds? Respected audience, I know some of the people in you sitting in front of me will have feeling that we are just nursing students. But to our fellow nurses and community members, you are the generation of nurses who will be on the front line as a registered nurse very soon. So remember, you are not just a nursing student, you are the future of nursing. Even some of you may be filled with the eagerness to help excitement to finish school and obtain license to secure a job so you can be the part of a nursing team who will make a difference. Some of you may be filled with worry and fear. I want you to know that it's okay to feel mixed emotions at the moment right now. Dear students, what I want you to remember is you have the ability to make a difference, to make a positive impact on the community with your knowledge and experience as a nursing student. Whomever the patient, wherever the location, the one thing all of us as a nurse in common is their unwearing commitment to make a difference to people's lives, not just to the patient, but to their families and loved ones too. And I am certain of that. Therefore, the phrase, our nurses, our future, is not just a slogan, but a philosophy that must be embraced and implemented to ensure that the future of healthcare is secure. This is the great privilege you will, so please don't take it lightly. Believe in yourself always to create a difference and do great things. We will be here cheering you along the way grateful you have chosen to be the next generation of nurses. At last, nurses have the unique perspective and understanding of how precious life is. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Now I invite the third contestant, Mr. Zabihullah from second semester. Hello, good morning. My name is Zabiwala. I am a student of nursing studying here at Sarhad University. 
and welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen, and the most honorable guests present here, and our nursing staff, and especially coordinator and vice chancellor. I'm so thrilled to be here among all of you on this special occasion. As we all know, International Nurses Day is celebrated every year on 12th May to commemorate the work and dedication of all the nurses in healthcare. And this was chosen to honor the birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, who was the founder of modern nursing. The main goal for celebrating this day is to recognize the devotion and dedication of all the nurses for their services to society. Just imagine the sacrifices, dedication, and commitment that the nurses invest in, in, in trust and benefits of patients which offer them with the services and assistance they surely earn them with the prestigious health. So nurses are inspired and motivated by the health of the patient, not based on the money and bribery promotion. And they are always skillful, trained and validated and conceptualized being using the scientific rational to build and strengthen the patient's health situation. They are the first one to get in the hospital and the last one to leave the hospital. And the most heartfelt, heartfelt about them is they scorn for being led with medicine, yet they are holding their bladder because they don't have time to use the restroom. They are they're starving because they miss the lunch, being peed on, puked on, bleed on, beat on, yelled at, and they, are, they, they miss their family while taking care of yours. They may, may even cry and pray for you. And the most obvious and recent example is COVID-19 pandemic, where there are hundreds of thousands of nurses put their life on fire to save the community people. Where they fought very badly and they forgot about the family and the loved one. And they were the only angel in healthcare system to stand up in the front line to beat and battle against corona pandemic. And even though their lives were in a bigger risk, Despite all those sacrifices which I've been discussed here, nurses are professional, always eager of giving them respect and knowing their dignity. They are your future. If you don't know they are your future, then you just need to look back on COVID-19 pandemic situation. So nurses for sure deserve to be protected by ensuring up-to-date technology and along with more investment to make the future of people more, even more brighter. And it is confirmed that nurses represent the world's largest healthcare profession with more than 3.1 million nurses, while nurses can be satisfying professionals. However, this is not the case here in Pakistan. Nurses continuously experiencing the lack of respect from their patient, doctor, administrator, and even from their co-worker. And as we value the patient and people the same, we deserve to be valued. And this is the common misunderstanding among people say doctors save the life of the, of the patient. But I would say nurses preserve and save the life of the patient. <laughs> Despite the critical role they played in healthcare system in COVID-19 pandemic, and in, all the health, and in all the past health crisis, they found global challenges in technology and shortages of nurses. So now we are expecting to be stronger enough by bringing supportive advancement in nursing care. This highlighted key action point targeted investment in nursing workforce and calls on member of prominence to strengthen the nursing profession within the counting context of their own prominence here in Pakistan, in all the country, all over the world. And this is what ICN want from us. Thank you. Thank you and very well done, Mr. Zabihullah. The fourth contestant is Muhammad Ilyas from fourth semester. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Honorable Director, Honorable Faculty Staff, and all of my colleagues, Assalamu Alaikum. Dear, I am very excited to get a chance to share a few words about the importance of International Nurses Day. God said, I need someone to care for the sick, the fragile, the broken, and the dying. And God made nurses, nurses. Nurses are so many reasons for, for so many reasons, faces going back from hospital. Every day they make someone smile and help come out of the pain. No doubt, nurses 
आर सोर्स ऑफ इंस्पायरेशन एंड हैप्पीनेस फॉर मेनी पेशेंट एंड देयर फैमिलीज एंड टुडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग इंटरनेशनल नर्सेज डे टू थाउजेंड आई वेस्ट टू ऑल द नर्सेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अ वेरी हैप्पी इंटरनेशनल नर्सेज डे माई डियर फ्रेंड let me tell you the reason behind the celebration of international nurses day this day has celebrated since 1965 and marked the birth anniversary of florence nightingale in 2023 the theme for our nurses for international nurses day is our nurses our future this day is celebrated to appease the nurses and express the gratitude to our efficient brave and hard working nurses this day raises awareness about the challenges faced by the nurses and to improve the global health for all the recent pandemic has emphasized the importance to support and protect the dignity of nurses and to invest in nursing as nursing profession show a tremendous change it is now time to look to the future of nurses to demonstrate what these investment will mean for nursing and healthcare the campaign of our nurses our future will shine the light on nurses and enlighten them to a brighter future with a focus on the future of nursing the aim of this year team is to highlight the need to protect respect and value the nurses for the role they play in the healthcare system ta nurses are unsung heroes in the healthcare industry they work tirelessly for patient from the birth of a newborn to the end of life of a critically ill patient nurses are always at the side of the patient and their families to provide empathetic and sympathetic care the nurses often work long hours in high stress environment still they are always ready to console and support the patient when they are going through hard time when they are the nurses are the essential backbone of the healthcare system i conclude my speech by quoting of florence nightingale never give not take an excuse thank you now i invite the fifth contestant is hilal idris from second semester save one life you are a hero save hundreds of life you are a nurse honorable vice chancellor honorable chief guest respected teachers and my dear fellows assalamu alaikum welcome to international nurses day 2023 this day is celebrated on 12th of may all over the world it is the birth anniversary of florence nightingale who is considered as founder of modern nursing she is also known as the lady with the lamp this day is celebrated to appeal the nurses and expresses the gratitude to our efficient brave and hard working nurses nurses give their selfless dedications to the service of mankind nursing is the largest healthcare profession in the world Nurses have various roles like taking care of patients, assisting evaluations and tests, checking and managing drugs, observing and recording the conditions of patients. Most of the time, nurses work in rough environment where extreme stress is a part of their job. This day is celebrated to thank all the nurses for their dedication and working especially during ongoing coronavirus pandemic the covid-19 pandemic is a reminder of the vital role played by the nurses without nurses and other health workers we would not have won the battle against covid-19 yes you are the angels on the earth thank you for being on the front lines of care thank you for your kindness dedication and healing touch thank you for honoring our lives with your care thank you for isolating yourself away from your families we are so grateful we all are proud of you we promise not to forget your sacrifices 
praying for your safety and protection as you do your job and helping others. In the end, I would like to sum it up with Florence Nightingale quotes. Nursing is one of the fine arts. Yes, it is the finest of the fine arts. Happy International Nursing Day. Thank you. Thank you, Hilal Idris. Now I invite the second last contestant of the speech competition, Navidullah from fourth semester. Honorable chief guests, uh, respected teachers, invited guests, and my dear fellows, Assalamu alaikum. Wish you a happy International Nurses Day. Today, we are celebrating an International Nurses Day, a day to recognize and honor the contribution that nurses make to our society. Our nurses, our future, emphasizes the crucial role that nurses play in shaping the, the future of the health care. The COVID-19 pandemic has also highlighted the vital role that nurses play in our society. They have been at the forefront of the pandemic response, working tirelessly to care patients and protect public health. Nurses have demonstrated their unwavering dedication to their profession and have been a beacon of hope during their, these difficult times. But despite their importance, nurses are often undervalued and underappreciated. They face numerous challenges such, such as unregulated staffing, long working hours, and a lack of resources which can impact their physical and mental health. Yet they continue to showing up every day and put their patient need first. As we celebrate International Nursing Day, let us take a moment of reflect on the critical role to nurses play in our society. Let us recognize their hard work, dedication and sacrifice. Let us advocate for better working condition and in, in, increase resource for our nurses. As we look to the future of the health care, we must recognize that nurses will continue to play a vital role. We need to invest in their education, training and development so that they can provide the best possible care to their patient. We must also recognize the diversity of the nursing profession and ensure that nurses are valued and supported. Let us celebrate International Nursing Day by honoring the nurses, recognizing their contribution and advocating for their well-being. Our nurses are the future of healthcare and we must do everything in, power to, in our power to support them in their critical role. Thank you. Wassalam. The last but not the least, now I invite the last contestant of the speech competition, Atik Ahmad Shah from fourth semester. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. Quran, Surah number 5, verse number 32. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, respected faculty members, and my dear fellow healthcare professionals, Assalamu alaikum. Today we have gathered here to celebrate the International Nursing Day and this year's theme is Our Nurses, Our Future. It is a momentous occasion to recognize the invaluable contribution of nurses worldwide and reflect them on the pivotal role that they play in the future of nurses in the healthcare. When we say our nurses, our future, we acknowledge that nurses are not just the essential today, but they will continue to be the cornerstone of in the future. As the world faces new and complex health challenges, our nurses are at for forefront adapting in waiting and leading the way. For example, during the recent global pandemic, COVID-19, nurses have demonstrated unparalleled courage and commitment. They have worked tirelessly, often risking their own health and well-being 
to care for the sick and vulnerable they have they have provided comfort to those in distress and served as a beacon of hope in the darkest of times today let us honor our nurses by recognizing their immense contributions and celebrating their dedication to improving the health and well-being of the individuals and communities let us support and empower them providing them with the resources and opportunities they need to thrive in their profession as we celebrate international nursing day let us also remember that investing in nursing is investing in our future by recognizing the importance by recognizing the importance of nursing education professional development and adequate staffing we ensure that our healthcare system will remain strong and resilient in short our nurses not only shape the present but also hold the key to our future finally i would like to conclude my speech of my personal expression about the world nurse that is n for nobility u for understanding r for responsibility s for sympathy and e for efficiency thank you very much thank you so much to all speakers and judges when a person decide to become a nurse they make the important decisions of their lives they choose to dedicate themselves to care for others no matter how difficult the days may get don't forget the reasons you became a nurse now i call upon the stage mr arifullah and his team members to present a skit mr arifullah and his team members assalamu alaikum bhaiya aur sara beta do aaya baba acha beta beta ab aaj ke liye aap baat mein kya hai बस बेटा अखबार में तो हर तरफ एक ही खबर है कि एक वायरस है एक तो बीमारी है पता नहीं लेकिन सारे अखबार एक ही खबर से बन भरा हुआ है आप ऐसे करो ना बेटा कि जरा सठी भी बहुत करो ताकि खबरें सुनेंगे कि ये क्या हाल चल रहा है जरा सठी भी बहुत करो चलो अखबार में भी एक खबर है और न्यूज में बस एक ही शोर शराबा एक है एक वायरस है एक बीमारी है तो इससे बहुत लोग मर रहे तो ये क्या है आपको शेर से है उधर क्या हालात है पाकिस्तान को तो और ज्यादा बिल्कुल नहीं ये सारे के सारे खराबे वायरस वायरस वगैरह कुछ भी नहीं है ये बिल्कुल बकवास है भाई इस पर ध्यान मत देते बशीर भाई ये बिल्कुल ये सारे मुमारी के साथ से वो इस पे बिल्कुल ध्यान आते हैं अपने काम से काम रख बस और ये सारे के सारे फजूल बकवास है और फजूल बात है बस ठीक है नहीं 
हेलो रेस्टोरेंट अस्सलाम वालेकुम मैं अभी बात कर रहा हूँ सरकार दिनों से जिसे यहाँ पर मेरा बाबा की तबीयत खराब हुई थी और जल्दी से आ जाइए जिसे अस्पताल लेके जाएं हाँ जल्दी से आ जाइए Now I invite Mr. Ziad Ali, student of second semester, want to share his feelings as a nurse. Ziad Ali. Shamma huwe roshan chalne lage parwane. Shamma huwe roshan chalne lage parwane. آغاز بسم اللہ سے انجام خدا جانے میرا جو میرا اشار ہے وہ نرس سے وابستہ ہے جو کوئیڈ نائنٹین میں پس لائن آپ ڈیپنس تھے جو پیشن کے لیے میرے اس پید وردی پر داغ بہت ہے ظلم کا دو پتہ نہیں پر الزام بہت ہے فرشتہ کہتا ہے وہ مریض مجھے جب تیک ہو جاتا ہے فرشتہ کہتا ہے وہ مریض مجھے جب تیک ہو جاتا ہے 
फिर काम अगर थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा भी बिगड़ जाए तो बदनाम करने वालों का नाम बहुत है मेरे इस सफेद वर्दी पर दाग बहुत है जुलम का तो पता नहीं पर इल्जाम बहुत है नहीं झिझकता वो बंद एक पल में हाथ उठाने से नहीं झिझकता वो पल में एक वो बंद एक पल में हाथ उठाने से दो पल पहले ही जिसने मुझे परिश्ता बना दिया था लोगों को लगता है कि बस दिन भर बेटा रहता हूँ मैं लोगों को लगता है कि बस दिन भर बेटा रहता हूँ मैं पर इंजेक्शन लगाने के अलावा मेरे काम पा मेरे पास काम बहुत है मेरे इस सफेद वर्दी पर दाग बहुत है जुलम का तो पता नहीं पर इल्ज़ाम बहुत है अरे न बनाओ तुम मुझे फरिश्ता अरे न बनाओ तुम मुझे फरिश्ता पर कम अज़ कम तुम मेरी आँख के सिमात के साथ तो नकेल हो चार साल की कड़ी मेहनत करके सीखा है मैंने ये तजुर्बा कोई फर्ज डिग्री नहीं जो तुम मौत में ले लो मरते हुए हर एक एक धड़कन का हिसाब रखता हूँ मैं मरते हुए हर एक एक धड़कन का हिसाब रखता हूँ मैं कभी रात भर मेरी तरह इमरजेंसी में ड्यूटी लगा कर तो देख लो अपने दर को भूल कर मैं तुम्हारे जख्मों पर मरहम लगाता हूँ अपने दर को भूल कर मैं तुम्हारे जख्मों पर मरहम लगाता हूँ पर मेरी रूह पर जख्मों का निशान बहुत है मेरे इस सफेद वर्दी पर दाह बहुत है जुलम का तो पता नहीं पर इल्ज़ाम बहुत है प्राउड टू बी द नर्सिंग ऑफिसर यूँ तो ऑफिसर लगता है मेरे नाम के आगे भी यूँ तो ऑफिसर लगता है मेरे नाम के आगे भी पर संघर्ष और चुनौती की पहाड़ बहुत है मेरे इस सफेद वर्दी पर दाह बहुत है जुलम का तो पता नहीं पर इल्ज़ाम बहुत है थैंक यू सो मच Thank you so much, Mr. Ziad Ali. Now I, I invite Shuja Bashir and his team members for culture dance. Shuja Bashir and his team members. <laughs> and a good dancer i request the judge ms chaida to come and announce the results please it 
was a good competition and the decision was also difficult to make. Mohammed Alias scored 26 marks out of 30 and he scored third position. Mr. Atik Ahmed Shah, he scored 26.3 out of 30 and scored 20. and secured second position. Finally, the winner, Hilal Idris. He scored 26.6 out of 30, and he scored first position in the competition. Thank you very much. Now I invite the Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Professor Salimur Rahman, the Vice Chancellor of Sirhid University, to say a few precious words on this occasion. Professor Salimur Rahman. Guest of Honor, invited guests, panel of judges, Deans, faculty members, directors, students, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. I thought before me, the directress, Ms. Shaheen, would also speak. So I was relaxed, but I was given number and I was given shock through this invitation all of a sudden. Anyway, it is always a pleasure to be among students, young people. I'm about to complete 22 years in this university, hopefully in July, God willing. And I have attended hundreds of functions, but very seldom I see such an enthusiasm, total involvement of the audience. and wholehearted participation. The way you people have welcomed the contestants in speech competition or those people who performed, even the guests, I think you need to clap for yourselves. Okay. Usually I start with the history of Sarhad University. I will not do that today. Uh, we started this institute about two years back in fall 2021. Last year also we wanted to commemorate this very occasion, but unfortunately we could not. This time when we were planning and both these sisters were sitting with me and since 12th of May fell on Juma, Friday, and I was a bit concerned it because of the Juma prayers, we will not be able to hold it and we will have to squeeze some of the activities. Now, whether it was good or bad, 9th May happened, which we today call a black day. And the unfortunate series of incidents on that day prevented holding this function or this event on 12th. And here we are today. So one blessing in disguise, even though we need to and we already have condemned whatever happened on 12th. Is Rab Kathyan Giji, Aapka Kaam Hai, healing the wounds, helping the wounded people, the injured people. That is also a wound on our soul. And we hope some people will come forward and help those wounds healed. But still we know that scars will remain there. To us, Din ke incidents ki wada se ye activity nahi ho saki and the only blessing in disguise is ke aaj aap nung zyada time mil gaya otherwise zame zyada khushi shoti agar ye hum bara mai hi ko observe karte ye din we have four batches senior most being in fourth semester and just this morning I was looking at your results the results that you have not seen right now and once you go back hopefully those will be displayed 
and I am really delighted, more than satisfied, delighted with your performance. And not only your performance as students, the performance of your teachers, your institute. Because when you talk about nursing and nurses, every profession, it requires dedication. Whether you are an engineer, you are a teacher, even if you are a tailor or a cobbler, pesha jo bhi ho, har bande ki dedication ki apne field mein zarurat padti hai. But people who are in the field of health, doctors and more than doctors, nurses. Because you have to interact with individuals. And individuals who are either ill or injured, just the way you just saw a demonstration, that many a times, even the loved ones, the very near and dear ones, they leave the patients. They cannot go close to them. They don't want to. And that is the time the doctors and nurses, they hold their hands. Now, your teaching staff, who are also nurses, they are not doing that. They are involved in teaching and managing. But what we observe is their dedication and their involvement, the caring attitude, that is unprecedented. We see their involvement in all activities, whether it is teaching, of course we expect that, training, grooming. When you go for sports activities, I see these females with you on the field. And of course, when you want to go rogue, Baz Logan ek din ka hum ye paper nahi denge. The way they handled it, because that is also part of the grooming. So heads off to them, they are really demonstrating what we expect from nurses. Total involvement and caring attitude. And this is what you learn from them because they are your role models. So you have to do this too, that you don't have to go to a ward and face the patients, you will show that you care and you love your profession. That attitude should reflect in every activity that you perform. As a student, as a civilian, as a son or daughter, हर जगह पे आपका वो एटीट्यूड नजर आना चाहिए ये आपके नेचर का हिस्सा बन जाना चाहिए टुडे दोस पीपल हु परफॉर्म हियर एंड दो स्पीक टू स्पोक इन इन डेक्लेमेशन कॉन्टेस्ट और स्पीचेस आई रियली अप्रिशिएट देम कमिंग फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज यू आर हार्डली इन सेकेंड ईयर बट इट नीड्स करेज एंड यू शो दैट करेज I loved some of the speeches. Baz Logan ne jo alfaz istemal kiye, jis tarike se cheezon ko present kiya. Ek jo yahan pe saab ne perform kiya. Khuda agar ek bimar na ho, varna aap bimar hoge aur log samjhe acting kar raha hai. Ek hai you are good actor. So thank you for a lively show. It should not end here. We have to carry this message. Before I end my speech. I want to thank all those people and acknowledge the contribution and participation of all those people, the unsung heroes, the women nurses who have been in the background. Okay, our media staff, you have also your own people, your proctors, who have also arranged this. It's clear that you are the people of your department, your teachers and faculty. Before going, one more time, then we have our guests outside, especially from different nursing institutes. ان سب کا شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں اور امید رکھتا ہوں کہ آپ لوگ آئندہ بھی سرد نیسٹری آتے رہیں گے اور ہماری آپ کے ساتھ انٹریکشن اس طرح پڑتی رہے گی اور ہماری خواہش ہوگی کہ آپ کے سوڈنٹس اور ہمارے سوڈنٹس بھی آپ اس میں مل کے کام بھی کریں کمپیٹیشنز بھی ہوں سو اف سامن انسٹریٹ وانٹس ٹو ہولڈ سم سارڈ اف کمپیٹیشن چاہے وہ کوئز کمپیٹیشن ہے اپنی اس سے to compete with each other. 
اللہ کرے کہ ہمارے ملک کبھی اچھے حالات بھی دیکھے ہم تو ہمیشہ اس کو ایک دوراہے پہ دیکھتے رہے اور ہمیشہ حالات خراب سے خراب تر ہوتے جا رہے ہیں سو بفور وی لیٹس پرے دیٹ آر کنٹری ٹیکس اے یو ٹرن اپ ورڈس اینڈ بی پروگرس اینڈ آر لیڈرشپ آر پیپل ایٹ ٹاپ دے اسٹارٹ کیئرنگ فار انڈیویجولس فار دیر لائفز دیر پراپرٹیز دیر سیفٹی اینڈ پراسپیرٹی تھینک یو آل Thank you, sir, for really encouraging comments. Uh, now, the movement for which all our presenters and students anxiously waiting is the price distribution. I request the chief guest to come on the stage for the price distribution. I also request Ms. Shainani, Director of Nursing, to accompany the chief guest. I also request the dean in director of Allied Sciences to accompany the chief guest. <laughs> Excellence is a habit. A habit to compete with yourself. Now, I announce the names of the student who get a position for GPA in the first semester and second semester and third semester result is awaiting still yet. Uh, the first day, Mr. Magbul, first semester, get poor GPA in the fourth semester. <laughs> Mr. Magbul. I request Usman, what is Usman? To come forward, Usman. Second semester. <laughs> Mr. Zubair. Second semester. Mrs. Talha Javed, second semester. Arsalan Ishfaq. And Shada Khan. Mr. Talha and Arsalan. Competition is not the matter of win and loss. It is the matter to face the audience and the people. Now, I request uh, Mr. Elias hold the third position in the speech competition. <laughs> also, Mr. Atik, he holds second position. Mr. Atik. In the winner of the show, Mr. Hilal Idris, whose whole part position. Thank you very much. Entertaining is the part of the life. I invite the dance presenter, Mr. Bashir Shahzeb Khan, Hazrat Umar, Atifullah, and Zaid Ali to come on the stage. Now, the presenter of the skit, Ms. Muhammad Arifullah, Abdul Wahab, Mr. Tayyab, Atifullah, Ayub Khan, Bashir Ali Shah, Hazrat Umar, Muhammad Farhan Khan, 
ان اختیار اللہ مسٹر برہان ان اختیار اللہ ناؤ دا آرگنائزرز افتاب احمد خان اینڈ زہیب نور دے آر دا چیف آرگنائزر ارسلان رفیق افضال احمد مقبول احمد مسٹر کاشف محمد الیاز ارباز خان این کاشف تھرڈ سیمسٹر ناؤ آئی ریکویسٹ دی ڈیکوریشن کمیٹی اختر نوید منیجر آف دی ایونٹ عزما شاہین مصور اسماعیل این افتخار این مصر مجیب تینک یو چیف گیس ناؤ ای ریکویسٹ مس شاہین غنی دا ڈائریکٹر نرسنگ ٹو پریزنٹ شیل ٹو دا چیف گیسٹ Now I request the chief guest to stay on the stage to present the shield to the guest of honor, Mr. Ms. Akhtarbano, the principal college of nursing. A humble teacher, a devoted manager. I'm so glad and what a pleasant surprise and uh, first of all I am very thankful to the management of Sarhat University and the uh, Ms. Shaheen and Ms. Nasreen they are my friends and my colleagues I'm very really uh, thankful to them that they have give, given me this honor to invite me on this occasion and um, the function and the Nurses International Nurses Day uh, very wonderful they have arranged this occasion and the whole team I uh, heartily congratulation uh, presented my congratulations to the whole team who organized this occasion and uh, all the students uh, students are always very creative but they have uh, done a very creative innovative uh, performance uh, and I appreciate their efforts and keep it up and uh, once again um, I can't say that I'm so glad for, that I have uh, for such a wonderful um, attending this occasion. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Akhtarbano. Now I invite Ms. Shahida, the principal college of Hyderabad Medical Complex. Have a long journey as an educationist, as a staff nurse, manager, coordinator and principal, Ms. Shaida. My student, Bhaktpari, the principal, College of Nursing, Lady Reading Hospital. And we is very, I am very happy to see my student in the high position to serve the public. Ms. Bakhtari. The Associate Director of the Lady Reading Hospital, Ms. Nahi. Uh, now I request Ms. Afroz, Ms. Rukhsana, or Farida. Ms. Lubna, Ms. Tanya, and Ms. Farad.
Now I request our valuable faculty as the driving force behind all this event, Mr. Irfanullah Khatak, Assistant Professor, Institute of Nursing Sciences. Ms. Mishma is the young inner day teacher, very, very creative. And you all see all the courage of that Ms. Mishma. Uh, this is the small prize from the director to our student who did a very hard work to maintain or to decorate all these events. So, first of all, I call upon Akhtar Naveed, the event manager, to come and receive a cash prize from the chief guest, from a director. And also, Ismail, the student of the third semester, they both did a very hard work. I also request the representative of B. Brand, Mr. Jawad. My name is Jawad Hedar and I have been working with B. Brand for about 8 years. We are doing this event for about the whole of Pakistan. We are doing this in colleges, schools, and all of them. And the purpose of doing this is that we have to tell you that our society is incomplete. This is not incomplete without a nurse. We can say that our society is a pillar of this nurse. If these nurses are not, then our society कंप्लीट नहीं हो सकती क्योंकि जैसे आप देखते हैं ना कि जैसे घर है तो घर जिस तरह एक माँ के बगैर कंप्लीट नहीं होता तो इस तरह हमारी सोसाइटी भी एक नर्स के बगैर कंप्लीट नहीं हो सकती बहुत सारी एग्जांपल हैं हम यहाँ पे स्पीच हो चुकी हैं कोविड की आप एग्जांपल देख लें कि अपने सके भाई बहन भाई आपके करीब नहीं होते थे और यही नर्सेज थीं कि जो दिन रात आपकी खिदमत कर रहे थे तो इल्फाज में तो हम बयान नहीं कर सकते अगर हम बयान करना चाहें तो घंटों दिन गुजर जाएं तो मैं सबको मुबारकबाद देना चाह रहा हूं हैप्पी नर्सेस डे एट लास्ट आई विल कॉल अपॉन द स्टेज मिस नसरीन गनी फॉर वोट ऑफ थिंग्स प्लीज वेलकम मिस नसरीन गनी Honorable Chief Guest, Deans, Directors, Respected Guest, Faculty, and Dear Student, Assalamu Alaikum. I feel a great honor to take the floor of Oath of Thanks. I understand that you have taken time up your busy schedule to contribute to this special day. I extend a very sincere thanks to our chief guest, Dr. Professor Salimur Rahman, the Vice Chancellor of Sarhad University, for his continued support and encouragement. We found Dr. Salim, the asset for the promotion of nursing profession, his ideas, and continued support on this special day is highly appreciated by the faculty of INS. I must also acknowledge the contribution of Muhammad Nasir, the Registrar Sarhad University, for his background efforts. He has made the willingness he has expressed taken on the completion of the task behind his comfort zone. Ladies and gentlemen, I also extend the hearty thanks to Director Nursing, Ms. Shaheen Ghani. She has been the driving force behind this whole process. Her vision, Interest and hard work has once again culminate in other success story. A even cannot be happen overnight. It's required a lot of planning and execution. We have been fortunate to be backed by a team of very motivated and delegated nursing faculty who know their job and are result oriented. I cannot thank everyone enough for the efforts they have made and the willingness they have expressed to take on the completion of their tasks beyond their power. You deserve congratulations 
for a very good job. Well done. I also extend the thanks to the IT department, food, maintenance, housekeeping in their team for the hard work, both in the foreground and the background. And organize the International Learners Day is not at all an easy talk. Thank you very much for your technical and logistic support. I also thank Mr. Hamayoun, the representative of the Bibran, for his generous support and a very beautiful cake for this event. Thank you very much. I must also acknowledge the contribution of all those students who have decorated hall, presented speaker, poster, excitement skit, and poetry. I am grateful to the organizer who have worked very hard and makes the occasion successful. Thank you very much for your participation. And special thanks, Ms. Mishma and Akhtar Naveed, the student of the fourth semester as the manager of this event. I take this opportunity to extend our most sincere thanks to our guests who have come from the different destination to grace this occasion. And I do apologize if any unintentional inconvenience was caused to anyone this, during this process and do hope that you will forgive us. Uh, one thing more to be end the program. Now call upon Ms., uh, Mr. Elias to come on the stage to conclude the session by a very, very silent soldiers. Aaj ki meri nazam, meri en nurses behan bayu ke liye hai, jo nursing ke shoba se wabasta hai, jo khas taur par coronavirus mein front line warrior thi. Our is ki hedmat ko hum salam pesh karte hai. हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है आए मरीज जो वार्ड में पहले चेहरा जो दिखाती है आए मरीज जो वार्ड में पहले चेहरा जो दिखाती है मरीज के सांस ले लेने तक पूरी हिस्ट्री ले जाती है हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है उसका वार्ड चाहे डॉक्टर लेके एंटर खुद ही करवाती है उसका वार्ड चाहे डॉक्टर लेके एंटर खुद ही करवाती है मरीज का मरीज की तकलीफ अगर दूर ना हो डॉक्टर से भी लड़ जाती है हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है मरीज का बुहार चढ़े या ब्लड प्रेशर घटे इनकी अपनी जान भी जाती है मरीज का बुहार चढ़े या ब्लड प्रेशर घटे इनकी अपनी जान भी जाती है मसला फूड का हो या फर्मीसी का सर चर कर हल करवाती है हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है मरीज के पास पैसे कम हो या वेलफेयर ना मिले वह भी अपनी जान का पाती है मरीज के पास पैसे कम हो या वेलफेयर ना मिले वह भी अपनी जान का पाती है मरीज का गिरे जो एक आंसू खुद दिल में बिल हो जाती है हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है सिर्फ आठ घंटे की ड्यूटी में नवे मसले हल करवाती है सिर्फ आठ घंटे की ड्यूटी में नवे मसले हल करवाती है हाँ नर्सेज मेहनत करती है हाँ नर्सेज जान लड़ाती है शुक्रिया नो दिस इज द टाइम टू फॉलो द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ द केक cutting ceremony in the nursing international day i request the chief guest director nursing dean director and all principal to come on the stage to have a cake ceremony